Good evening. We have your attention for just a few moments. If you would like to all take a seat or you can stand where you are. We have a few things to say and I'd, uh, first of all I'd like to introduce myself for those of you that I have not met. My name is Marty Lamontagne. I want to thank you for all coming out. This is a celebration of Russ's 45 years here at Mount Rushmore. And if I could ask Russ to come up here, we're going to put him on display for a while. We have several people that would like to say a few words or make a presentation to Russ, and we'll get right into it. So I'd like to introduce uh, Craig Pugsley from the Custer Chamber of Commerce. Next week, the Custer Area Chamber of Commerce will be hosting their annual Spring Fling right here at Mount Rushmore. So, yeah. so we'll be right back here next Thursday night and we're excited to go to bring the Custer Chamber Spring Fling uh, conference up here to Mount Rushmore. And at that time, we were going to present Russ with uh, a special Extra Mile Award, and uh, I heard that he wouldn't be here when he, tonight's function is over. He's like walking out the door and not quite. Oh, well, he'll be back, but he, they said he wouldn't be here Thursday, so <clears throat> we thought we would give him this presentation tonight. But first of all, thank you to Zantara for this wonderful meal and the beverages. Always very much appreciated. Follow the Russ's fine tradition of doing such things for all of us folks here in the Black Hills. But you know, partnerships are a very, very important ingredient to foster the growth of tourism throughout the Black Hills and South Dakota. And Russ has certainly gone the extra mile in promoting Mount Rushmore, the Black Hills, and the entire state of South Dakota throughout his involvement on numerous committees, boards, and through the partnerships that he has fostered and developed with his friends both in the private and in the public sector. And on behalf of the Custer Area Chamber of Commerce and Custer State Park and the Custer State Park Resorts, we extend our appreciation and gratitude for all that Russ has done throughout his tenure or in his case, I should say, his 40 year here at Mount Rushmore. And because of his untiring efforts to promote tourism, he leaves South Dakota a much better place than we, when he arrived on the scene some 45 years ago. It gives me a great deal of pleasure to present Russ Jobin with the Custer Chamber of Commerce Extra Mile Award. And all the best to you, Russ, and your family. And again, we truly appreciate all you have done for the Black Hills and South Dakota tourism industry. For those of you that don't know, my first job in the Black Hills was at Custer State Park at the State Game Lunch. I worked there the year in 1968 before I came here in 1969. And I changed because they paid a dollar and a quarter an hour here. And at, <laughs> and at uh, Custer State Park, I made $60 a month plus room and board. So uh, it, it was a big difference to come here. So thank you, Craig. And thanks, Custer State Park. Do we have any Bob Curtis here? Bob Curtis would like to speak. Bob Curtis worked here 45 years ago with Russ. Nineteen sixty-nine, huh? That was a pretty important year to a lot of us. I graduated from high school. I got my first job working here at Mount Rushmore. I met my wonderful wife, who was Bev Hendrickson at the time, and we've now been married forty-two years. She was also working here at the same time. And sixty-nine was a wonderful year. In the beginning. <laughs> I'm not going to go through these, but, and you can thank my wife for this, she did all the work. We have a number of pictures in here 
in the old-fashioned, regular, colored pictures of people that worked with Russ in 1969. And he's even here a couple of times, but you have to look really hard to find him, because he doesn't quite look the same. <laughs> but none of us did. But we have a picture of his whole dining room crew, named with all the names, and uh, just a variety of things in here. Um, we have a cover picture of Christmas comes well, once a year, once, once at home and once up here. We had that in all of, in the gift shop. It's been fun having your friendship. And whether you know or not, we live in Cheyenne, Wyoming, so he's not closer to us, so we can go see him more often. <laughs> but thanks for all your friendship, all your hard work, and all your friendship. I'd like to call on uh, Diana Sadhoff, who is the executive director of the Mount Rushmore National Awards. I, I have had the privilege of working with Russ Jobman. Um, I started this job in 1999, and uh, you have been a friend and a mentor and a consummate supporter of Mount Rushmore and of the Mount Rushmore Society and all of our efforts here. And so, on behalf of the Mount Rushmore Society Board, first of all, I'd just like to say thank you. Thank you. Over the years, you might have accumulated a few items that, you know, have Mount Rushmore on them. Yeah. So, we thought we would start you out with a new collection. The first hundred years of Rocky Mountain National Park. So... <laughs> Our love and our thanks for all the years of support. Thank you. I'd like to present um, Cheryl Schreier, the superintendent here at Mount Rushmore. I'm Russ. <laughs> Don't make me cry. <laughs> Don't make me cry. Good evening, everyone. You know how hard this is, don't you? We're all going through the grieving process. Where's Jim and Kayla? Thanks. Thanks a lot. <laughs> it is absolutely amazing that when the clouds lift, Russ, I want you to know that that right-hand side of where Lincoln is, don't be a bit surprised if you see your face up there. <laughs> I'm, I'm personally going to, to miss you. I just want to forewarn everyone at Rocky Mountain, especially the elk. And I, I want you to know. That although the mountain goat population here at Mount Rushmore is, is, is a little bit more declined, they did have to specifically, Game Fish and Parks had to bring in some more mountain goats. And I, many of you know that, that story, but um, we won't go into it here. We won't go into it. <laughs> but I also want you to know that um, I have been briefing the new su or the superintendent at um, Vaughn Baker at Rocky Mountain. I have, yes. So he knows all. We want to present Russ with an arrowhead, which normally National Park Service employees re receive, but it says in recognition of 45 years of dedicated to the National Park Service mission at Mount Rushmore National Memorial. And I think we got the dates pretty close at Turbo's job. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> and Russ, we have, um, there's also up here um, a couple of other things. But um, did you ever get a, you never got a coin? Who's Dwayne? Dwayne, am I doing this right? I'm going to present him with a coin, Mount Rushmore. You have to carry that in your pocket all the time. Okay? <laughs> all right. Because I got caught by Dwayne. Yes, that's a challenge coin. Do you have yours? <laughs> Dwayne, do you have yours? All right. You're busted. <laughs> but thank you, everyone. And thank Again. 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 We love you. <laughs>
Jim. Jim McCaleb is from our company, Zantara Parks and Resorts. He's the Vice President of National Parks North and my new boss. Okay, uh, it is true, Russ took out three goats. <laughs> they tried to avoid One hit. One, yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's, he's a very efficient person that way. And they wouldn't give me the pills. Yeah. The back story is, uh, you probably didn't know at the time, Russ's food costs were running just a little bit. Uh, seriously, Russ's 45 years have been uh, nothing short of just absolutely incredible. Cheryl touched on it. When you think about um, the uh, numbers of years and the, the amount of commitment required to put in that kind of an effort for that long, it truly is absolutely amazing. And uh, I want to, on behalf of the Denver office, Russ, and all the Zantara family, want to say uh, a very deep thank you and express our gratitude for all the 45 years of commitment, of the dedication, of the hard work for making this place so much better than it was when you walked in here in 1969. So congratulations. On your Finally, uh, and I, I hate to end it on a downer, but Cheryl Russ uh, asked for a going away, he made a going away request, and I took it to the Park Service, and unfortunately they declined me, Russ. Uh, we can't officially change this name to Mount Russ Moore. <laughs> so, sorry. The, uh, first, before I go any further, I'd like to again thank Lloyd, Tom, and their crew for putting together this wonderful reception. Um, the number one comment I've heard in the past week has been, congratulations. The number two comment has been, I've got some awful big shoes to fill. <laughs> so if I can even come close, <laughs> if I can even come close to the example that Russ has set in 45 years he's been here, I will consider myself lucky. I have a couple of things for you from your crew here at Rushmore. Since you have a new house, but we don't know how you're going to decorate it, this is just a gift card for you to buy a home, uh, home warming gift, so for you to care about pick out. Also, um, a couple weeks ago, um, we all gathered here, and with the help of Ed Matuska, there he is, Ed Matuska and Samuel Studios, who generously donated his time and efforts, we took this photo that you can all take a look at. It's a photo of Russ with all of his year-round crew right up here at Mount Rushmore, signed by everybody on the crew. So, thank you very much for us. This has been a great ride. Uh, I've, I've worked with Tom now 38 years. Has it, or, yeah, it's been 38 years, 37, 38 years. And Anna, <laughs> on the, the 1st of uh, April will be 25 years for Anna. Uh, Glenn, our, our controller, I wish he was here, he was going to be here. Is he here? Oh, there he is. Yeah. Glenn, Glenn, you did 36 years, right? Yeah, 36 years. So there is longevity here. Uh, it is, it's a fantastic crew, the, uh, uh, the staff doesn't, I don't do many of it, I know, you guys call me, Linda, you guys call me for things, I don't do it, all I do is send an email to Lloyd or an email to, to Mark Parker and say this is what is happening, this is what we're doing, and they make it happen. It, it's the crew, they are fantastic, we have the best crew. That, that any company could ask for. And I, I will fight any general manager, including my old boss, Jim McCaleb, that <laughs> runs Yellowstone. Mount Rushmore is the best. We have the best crew. Um, now I'm going to Rocky Mountain, for which I am the only full-time employee, so I am the best crew. <laughs> Thank you.
And uh, I want to just acknowledge Carol because uh, it, for those of us in the business, it's always uh, tag team. And uh, she gets a round of applause.